Hey Cougar fans and welcome to the final edition of CUC Men's Lacrosse Weekly of 2023 where we'll wrap up the entire Cougar season. I'm Parker Kelly with the Cougar Sports Network and I'm once again sitting here with head men's lacrosse coach Scott Gwynn. Coach, the team season officially ended last mm -hmm. Wednesday at Aurora University. However, the team played an exhibition at St. Xavier on Friday. Yep. The Cougars got the win 11-2. to I know most of the guys were happy about it. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to end such a hard-fought season on such a high note? Well, I think it's also how the game happened that makes it feel... I, I wouldn't say like a breath of relief because it almost felt like, yes, this is what we've been working towards. This is what it's supposed to be. Um, they came out so hot that we were up six, seven goals, and there was still plenty of time left in the first quarter. And so the guys were prepared to to put up a huge, huge effort. Um, so I think that it was, I'd say probably the best way to describe it was a, you're, you know, you're right. This is what it's supposed to be. And I think that the guys sort of felt that as well. Of yeah, we are capable of this. And it was a nice reminder for them to sort of see all this work we've done has produced something we just needed to have the opportunity to do it so it was very exciting um, we had a lot of guys pull out some some very very uh, complex stuff that we had been working towards all season so it was nice to see that all put together it was just it was very complete picture from a lot of our guys and um, that was very I was very proud to see that as, as a coach to see them responding to what we were saying on the sidelines as well and we were challenging them the entire game when we did start to build that lead to try things they weren't fully comfortable with, to try to get creative within the set, to make plays themselves within the structures and rules that you know that follow. And they did a great job of being creative, and they did a great job of playing together as well. Absolutely, and I know you've been busy recruiting ever since mm -hmm. the season, and <laughs> kind of walk us through mm -hmm. that and how you plan on adding some key pieces to this Cougars team next year. Yeah, so one of the areas that we're trying to hit pretty big is in the transfer portal. Of course, we're, we're losing um, two of our captains, which... You know, we're glad to see them move on, um, but leadership is hard to replace, especially with the quality that we had in Cicero and VZ. And um, it helps that we have Jared Tabor still, still coming back, but you still want to supplement that with somebody that maybe has been through it a little bit, that can jump in and, and assume some of those responsibilities right away. So we've been really trying to focus on maybe looking to that transfer portal, see if we can't get some of that... Uh, experience or leadership back in right away where we don't have to build from scratch completely with an all freshman incoming class. Um, that being said, you know, we, we're trying to build towards getting a la couple last class of 2023s in and um, we're hosting a, a camp on the 28th to try to see if anybody who is uncommitted or undecided to give them a fair shot at proving that, you know, they, they can fit in with our program and that they've got the talent to play at the next level. So uh, it's been a lot of phone calls, Zoom calls, emails, right, trying to distribute everything out and also preparing for the next incoming class as well. Um, because we're at that part of the season, well, yes, we are trying to wrap up the 23s, but we've also got to make sure the 24s know to keep an eye out for us at tournaments, sort of starting to put together, okay, where exactly are we going to be when, um, who's going where, and then telling the young men that are going to be at these various tournaments, hey, keep an eye out for the maroon and gold because we're going to be on the sideline checking you out. So. Um, it's been a nice balancing act so far, and we're hoping to keep it that way, but definitely trying to get a, a couple 23s with the camp coming up and uh, trying to close out on the last couple guys that can really be some key pieces for us. And um, You know, it's always the, the ones that make a huge difference that you have to work the hardest for, and so we're excited that if we do get the opportunity to spend the next four years mentoring and instructing these players that when they come in, they're going to be the type of players that make immediate huge impacts. And you mentioned losing that leadership in Aiden mm -hmm. Vizi and Zach Cicero, but the Cougars do return some experienced players mm -hmm. and potentially some recruits as well. What should the rest of us Cougar fans expect from this team next season? Well, I think that with the incoming class, it's very defensive oriented. Um, so you're going to see a, probably a, a much different style of defense next year than you did this year as well as some guys getting to return to their original spots. You know, Justin Headley is one of the best LSMs I've ever seen flat out. Let's get the pull back in his hand and let him play LSM versus having to use him more on the offensive end. Um, additionally, Jared Tabor has taken huge leaps in sort of his leadership skills and also in terms of his playing ability, which is saying something because I was telling him the other day, 
he would pull off incredible feats of athleticism and part of me would say how in the world did he do that and the other part would say well it's jared that's how so having him come back with that leadership and returning some of the other offensive guys you know lechuga um we're also going to get back um you know tristan pluck we're also going to get back some of our guys that were a little bit banged up and had to play more on sort of a 50 50 role as well Having those key pieces that have the chemistry together that want to be creative and build together, I think is going to be really exciting. Um, I think you can also expect to see some some veteran guys changing up their roles within their respective spots a little bit. Um, you're probably going to see a very different Andrew Lechuga next year than you do this year. Um, you're probably going to see a much more aggressive Jared Tabor next year on the ball. Uh, defensively, of course, it's you got to talk about how we're returning three starting poles. Uh, next season which is huge so that veteran presence and then you have the veteran netminder as well uh, I think you're going to see a very poised and high IQ defense that is going to excite a lot of people and excite us so absolutely and I know the rest of us Cougar fans are looking forward to watching this team compete next year for sure that about wraps up our time today on CEC Men's Lacrosse Weekly coach thank you for doing this it's been a fun year yeah thank you so much Make sure to check out the Cougars as they continue through their off-season training programs. All things CUC Men's Lacrosse can be found at the Athletics website at cucougars.com. I'm Parker Kelly signing off. We'll see you next season on CUC Men's Lacrosse Weekly. Go Cougars!